following recording will walk users through the launchpad navigation on the sample app v305 virtual appliance the v305 launchpad is a complete guide to configuring navigating and working with your sample app v305 release the launchpad can be accessed in several different ways from the desktop from the oel toolbar and there is also a web-based version that can be accessed directly from OBIE. The Sample App Launchpad has all information pertaining to the V305 release. I'll go through them quickly. We have a Start Here section. This section explains your host system as well as your VM uh, configuration. Configuring your local web browser. If I return to the Launchpad, I can open up the software inventory this is a full listing of all of the software that comes with the image as well as its install location I click on the product startup matrix so this is a matrix that explains all of the services and the expected RAM usage of each service if I scroll down a little further I can see I have the recommended startup procedure for all of the uh, v305 services in this example, this is a standard OBI demo. This is the startup process I would follow, and this is the expected uh, RAM usage uh, that we can expect between 4 and 4.5 gig. If I scroll down further, we can see there's information regarding the Indeca server, the Indeca studio, as well as uh, the S base that comes integrated with OBI, in addition to all of the necessary Windows clients. If I return to the launch pad. I can click on the product log file analysis. This is where you would come if you were having an issue with any of the deployments and you can quickly access the logs fi log file for each of the products. I return to the launch pad and click on the username and URLs link. So this is a single source that has all of the usernames, URLs, and passwords for every UI on the v305 release all of my services successfully started it's time to access OBI access OBI we can do this in one of two ways we can use the local browser within the VM if I use the bookmarks I can see I have shortcuts for all of the web-based applications or I can use my local browser for my host machine in this example I'll use the local browser for my host machine using the IP address that I was given earlier I can log on as P Rodney admin 123 by default, we're taken to the sample app application index page. This index page contains all of the links and shortcuts for all content on the V305 release. It's broken out into category. We have quick demos, functional examples, published reporting, integration features. If I come over here, I can see that I can maximize all of the content. Everything shown in blue is net new content for the V305 release. Where I can minimize everything and drill into a specific category. In this example, I'll click on the map views and I'll bring up the featured layer view. Once my report is rendered, if I want to return to the general index, I can just click on dashboards, click on general index. Also from this page, we have a web-based version of the Sample App Launchpad. I can see that I have access to the Start Here guide, the software inventory, product startup matrix, as well as the full listing of uh, URLs and logon credentials. Also from this page, we can launch the Oracle BI Tech Demo YouTube channel. You can review all of the playlists um, for the V305 release. If I return to my BI UI, I can see that I also have access to the Sample App OTN homepage. If I click on here, I need directly to the Sample App OTN homepage. This concludes our recording on navigating with the Sample App Launchpad and using the OBI General Index. I encourage you to review all of the documentation, especially the Quick Deployment Guide for additional tips and tricks, including upgrading your VBOX tools.